Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about Lansoprazole. How this drug acts, what are the clinical uses, drug interactions and side effects of Lansoprazole. What is Lansoprazole? As the suffix prazole indicates, this drug is a proton pump inhibitor, commonly indicated as PPI, proton pump inhibitor. So Lansoprazole is a proton pump inhibitor that can be used with the various conditions which are associated with the increased release of the gastric acid. This drug can be used in the treatment of duodenal ulcers, gastric ulcers and GRD, gastroesophageal reflux disorder. So this is a disorder where the gastric acid is going to be reflexed into the esophagus resulting in the esophageal irritation and heartburn. In such conditions, Lansoprazole can be used and erosive esophagitis. So this again erosion of uh, mucosal layer within the esophagus which results in the inflammation and irritation. In such conditions again Lansoprazole can be used in order to reduce the acid reflux. Apart from these conditions, Lansoprazole can also be used in the other conditions which are associated with the excessive secretion of the gastric acid. For example, Lansoprazole can be used in the treatment of jollinger ellison syndrome. So this is one of the gastrin producing syndrome which can increase the gastric acid release. And it can also be used in the anicide induced ulcers. Most of the anicides can induce the gastric ulcers and irritation when they are used for prolonged period. In such conditions we can use the proton pump inhibitors. So here Lansoprazole can be used to treat the anicide induced ulcers. And another important pathological organism is the Helicobacter pylori. Helicobacter pylori is one of the gram negative microorganism which can induce the duodenal ulcers by excessive release of the gastric acid. In such conditions we can use a combination of the drugs. So we have a combination of Lansoprazole plus Amoxylin. Otherwise we can use the triple therapy where Lansoprazole, Amoxylin plus Clarithromycin is going to be added. In such regimen we can use any type of proton pump inhibitor and among them Lansoprazole is one of the drug which can be used in the triple therapy. So all these are the clinical use of Lansoprazole. So today in this video let us see how this drug acts, what are the side effects, precautions and drug interactions of this Lansoprazole. So first of all let us see the chemical nature of Lansoprazole. As this drug is a proton pump inhibitor, it belongs to the chemical class of benzimidazole sulfoxides. So this is the structure of Lansoprazole. Here you can observe this heterocyclic ring system is nothing but the benzimidazole. And this benzimidazole is attached with the sulfoxide group at the second position. So Lansoprazole is a benzimidazole sulfoxide derivative. If we write the IUPAC name, the suffix is nothing but benzimidazole which is attached with the methyl sulfoxide group at the second position. So when we write the name, it becomes 2 dash methyl sulfenyl because sulfoxide can be indicated as sulfenyl. Now this methyl sulfenyl group is attached to the pyridine ring system at the second position. So now we can write this as pyrid 2 ile and to this pyridine ring system at the third position methyl group is present so 3 methyl and at the fourth position simply ethyl group is there which is substituted with the 3 fluorine groups so 4 dash 2 2 2 trifluoroethoxy group so this is the complete name of lansoprazole how it acts now let us see how this lansoprazole acts as a proton pump inhibitor so at the gastric parietal cells, within the membrane, we can observe the pH around 7.4. But within the acidic canaliculi, proton pumps are present which are going to release the H plus ions. So these H plus ions are going to be released into the stomach. Now the pH of the gastric environment is around 1 because of release of gastric acid. And when this gastric acid is excessively released, it can increase the gastric irritation as well as the damage to the mucosal layer resulting in the gastric ulcers. Now Lansoprazole is available as a sulfoxide form but it is not an active drug, it is a prodrug. Within this acidic environment it is going to be protonated such that it is converted into sulfenamide metabolite. This sulfenamide metabolite is the active metabolite of the Lansoprazole. 
which then inhibits the proton pump such that it can inhibit the further release of the gastric acid. So this is the structure of uh, lansoprazole already we have seen. So this is having a sulfoxide form and since it is available as a sulfoxide form, lansoprazole acts as a prodrug. It needs bioactivation. Now this prodrug can be converted to active metabolite by the ring closure between this nitrogen and this carbon. So within the acidic environment, lansoprazole can be converted into a metabolite like this. Now here you can observe that there is a bond formation between the nitrogen and the carbon and the oxygen is removed from the sulfur. So this is nothing but the sulfenamide metabolite. This sulfenamide metabolite is the active metabolite of uh, lansoprazole which is responsible for the inhibition of the proton pump present on the gastric parietal cells. Now this sulfenamide metabolite can interact with the proton pumps. Proton pumps are having the thiol groups. Now the active metabolite of lansoprazole can be cleaved at this position such that it forms a free thiol group which can form a disulfide bridge within the thiol groups on the proton pump. In this way, the active sulfenamide metabolite of the lansoprazole can act on the proton pump and it form a disulfide bridge thereby it produce alkylation of the proton pump. When this proton pump is alkylated, it is going to be, its activity is going to be inhibited. Now let us see what happens at the cellular level. At the gastric parietal cells, the water and carbon dioxide are going to be combined such that they are going to form the carbonic acid and this reaction is mediated by one of the enzyme carbonic anhydrase enzyme. Now this carbonic acid can be splitted into bicarbonate as well as the proton. This bicarbonate is going to be reabsorbed into the systemic circulation by one of the pump which is going to send the bicarbonate into the systemic circulation for the exchange of the chloride ions. In this way chloride ions can enter into the gastric parietal cells and then they can be secreted into the stomach through the chloride channels. But for secretion of the proton one of the pump is required that pump is nothing but the proton pump. This proton pump is the H plus K plus AT phase pump which requires the energy and drives the proton into the stomach. Now this proton can be secreted into the stomach for the exchange of the potassium ions. In this way, H plus ion as well as chloride ions are going to be secreted into the stomach and they form the HCl which is the major component in the gastric acid. Now let us see how this lansoprazole acts. Lansoprazole can enter into the gastric parietal cells but it is not active directly because it is a sulfoxide. So it is going to be converted into active metabolite within the acidic canaliculi where the environment is acidic in nature. So lansoprazole can be converted into active metabolite sulfenamide which can then bind to this proton pump and it can inhibit the activity of this proton pump. In this way, lansoprazole is accumulated within the acidic canaliculi and it can inhibit the proton pump activity by interaction with the free thiol groups. What are the precautions with the lansoprazole? The important precaution is the Clostridium difficile infection. Normally Clostridium difficile infection is going to be controlled by the gut flora which is having a protective bacteria that can control the progression of Clostridium difficile infections. But when broad spectrum antibiotics like the amoxicillin, otherwise we have the drugs like clarithromycin, when these drugs are going to be prescribed, they can inhibit the bacterial gut flora, which may increase the Clostridium difficile infection. This Clostridium difficile infection can produce a diarrhea in the patients. So lansoprazole can produce a diarrhea when it is uh, used for longer periods. So Patients should take the precautions and other drugs which may inhibit the gut flora like amoxicillin, clarithromycin should be carefully given because they can increase the growth of Clostridium difficile infection resulting in the diarrhea. Second important precaution is the hypomagnesemia. Lansoprazole can reduce the magnesium levels within the plasma which may result in few of the cardiac arrhythmias as well as precipitation of seizures and tetany. Muscle spasm can also be observed. So all these conditions are associated with the hypomagnesemia. But this condition is observed after 3 to 12 months of treatment of lansoprazole. Third one is the bone fractures. This is a common condition with many of the proton pump inhibitors. PPIs can increase the fracture risk of wrist, hip and joints. They can increase the osteoporosis like effects. And this risk may be increased when these drugs are continuously used for greater than one year. 
what are the drug interactions one of the antiviral drug is the atazanavir navir indicates it is a protease inhibitor this drug requires the gastric ph in the acidic side within the acidic environment this drug is soluble and shows the better absorption now when this drug is given along with the lansoprazole what happens lansoprazole is going to inhibit the gastric acid secretion thereby it can inhibit the gastric absorption of the atazanavir so whenever this lansoprazole is given the bioavailability of atazanavir is going to be reduced similarly if you have the drugs like desoxin ketoconazole amoxicillin esters and iron salts all these drugs absorption and bioavailability depends on the gastric ph so within the acidic ph these drugs shows the better bioavailability now again lansoprazole can inhibit the gastric acid secretion thereby it can reduce the acidic environment which results in the reduced bioavailability of all these drugs so whenever the lansoprazole is given along with these drugs the dosage adjustment should be done in order to increase the bioavailability similarly lansoprazole can also affect the bioavailability of other drugs it can increase the plasma levels of other drugs like tacrolimus which is a immunosuppressant and methotrexate which is an anti cancer agent as well as this drug can also be used for the rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis and warfarin which is an anti coagulant all these levels are going to be increased when they are given along with the lansoprazole similarly lansoprazole can also inhibit the levels of theophylline which is one of a bronchodilator so these are the important drug interactions of the lansoprazole what are the side effects the important side effect is the diarrhea all we have seen this diarrhea is mainly produced by the closed stadium difficile infection and another side effect is the headache which is commonly observed in most of the patients and we have the other side effects like nausea vomiting abdominal pain and sometimes it can also produce a constipation this constipation is not related with the closed stadium difficile infection but because of the inhibition of gastric acid secretion lansoprazole can also produce the constipation similarly if you have the other side effects like the allergic reactions and bone fractures can also be observed with the lansoprazole how it is given this drug is given as a tablet form as well as a capsule form it is available at the two strengths at 15 mg dose as well as the 30 mg dose initially it can be started at the 50 mg once daily but the dose can be increased according to the situation so that's about the lansoprazole lansoprazole is one of the proton pump inhibitor and chemically it's a benzimidazole sulfoxide but this drug is a pro drug which needs bioactivation within the gastric acidic environment this drug is going to be protonated and converted into sulfenamide metabolite which is the active metabolite responsible for the inhibition of the proton pump activity this drug should be carefully given in the patients who are having the closed stadium difficile infections which may result in the diarrhea in the patients hypomagnesia is the another important precaution that should be observed with the lansoprazole so that's about the lansoprazole hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video